Welcome to the Summer Financial Aid Series hosted by Genesee Community College. Today's topic will be satisfactory academic progress. We hope through this presentation, you'll gain a better understanding of what satisfactory academic progress is, the different types of SAP, how to appeal, the different outcomes of a SAP appeal, and how satisfactory academic progress is different from academic probation. So first and foremost, what is satisfactory academic progress? Satisfactory academic progress, also known as SAP, ensures that students are successfully moving in forward in their academic studies towards graduation. Students who do not maintain the minimum SAP standards will be ineligible to receive federal financial aid. There are two types of SAP. First is standard SAP. This is comprised of both PACE, which is your credit hours earned and attempted, and quality, which is your overall GPA. The second is SAP 150. This means that students must not attempt more than 150% of the credit hours required to complete a degree. It is important to note that SAP 150 does not have a quality component. It is strictly based on the number of credits attempted. Looking at standard SAP, students must maintain a certain pace. This means that students need to earn approximately 62% of the credits they attempt. They must also meet a quality standard. Students must meet a minimum GPA and it, that's based on the number of credits they've attempted. As credits increase, students must maintain a higher GPA up to a 2.0. 2.0 becomes the minimum once a student has attempted 42 or more credit hours. A 2.0 is in line with graduation standard. It is important to note that students must meet both pace and quality. There are situations in which a student might meet pace or quality, but not the other component. In that case, the student would still be listed as SAP. SAP 150. Students cannot attempt more than 150% of the credits it takes to earn a degree. At GCC, once students attempt 90 or more credit hours, they are automatically coded as SAP 150 as most degrees take around 60 credits to complete. Once a student has hit 90, they have reached that 150%. We see this most often with students that come back and attempt a second degree. So it's important to note that it's not a quality component. It's strictly the number of credits attempted, which is why students are coded as SAP 150. If you're coded as standard SAP, you can appeal by submitting a SAP appeal which is available on our website at genesee.edu. You also will submit supporting documentation and write a personal statement explaining the situation. Some grounds for appeals may be the death of an immediate family member, medical incapacitation of a student, military activation, or other situation that would prevent a student from completing the semester. In regards to SAP 150, to appeal, you must submit a SAP 150 appeal, which is also available on our website, genesee.edu. You will also submit an academic plan that is approved and signed off by your success coach or advisor to show that you are going to complete the degree in a timely fashion. Once you submit an appeal, it will go in front of a committee. The potential outcomes of this appeal will include approved, this is where students will be eligible for federal aid. It will not be reviewed again until the end of the next SAP cycle. All students are reviewed at the end of the spring semester at the end of May to determine if they make satisfactory academic progress. A student may also be put on an academic plan. This is where the student's progress will be monitored at, at the end of each semester rather than at the end of the SAP cycle. It's important to note that students in both situations must earn C's or better in all their coursework in order to continue their appeals. Next is pending. The student may need to submit additional documentation to the SAP committee before they can make a determination. And then finally, there's denied. If the student's appeal is denied, the student will be ineligible for federal aid. It is important to note that if a student gets back into good SAP standing, their SAP can automatically be waived and their aid reinstated. This is for standard SAP students. Students must contact the financial aid office if they believe that they have gotten back into good standing as the financial aid office will not review their account again until the end of the next SAP cycle. 
SNAP versus academic probation. Satisfactory academic progress relates specifically to federal financial aid eligibility, whereas academic probation relates to the maximum number of credits a student can attempt at GCC. It's important to note that if a student was granted an academic probation waiver, this does not mean that they've been granted a waiver of SAP standards. Students must appeal to academic probation through academics and SAP through financial aid. We do not share information among the committees. It will be the student's responsibility to appeal to both committees. If you have any questions or concerns about the content covered here, contact the financial aid office. You can email us at financialaid at genesee.edu. You can also call us or set up a virtual Zoom session starting in July of 2020. You can visit our website at www.genesee.edu slash finaid for forms, more information, and to set up a virtual session with a financial aid representative. Thank you for attending the Summer Financial Aid Series at Genesee Community College.